Here we are back with another review, and today we are checking out this vintage board game from 2001 called Don't Wake Daddy. This is brought to you by Milton Bradley, and uh, this is new and sealed, so we're going to check it out uh, for the first time together. So let's start off with probably getting off this cellophane. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's get off the cellophane so that we can get at least the glare off the box. And then we'll check out the box and see what it's all about. So this is uh, definitely a, uh, a throwback for sure. And I believe this version doesn't take batteries, but we're gonna, we're gonna check and make sure. So in the front we got this little funny caricature of a uh, you know, little girl, little boy, and a cat basically trying to, I guess, sneak into the fridge? I'm not really sure, but try not to wake daddy, basically. Um, it's three to six um, ages, age-wise. It is also two to four players. So let's check out the, the sides. Just basically have their branding. My first games. The alarm clock game that's set for fun. And then here we have a little little play date, looks like, with uh, Don't Wake Daddy is the main theme. And we got the hat basically flying off the head of the plastic figurine. Um, and then it looks like somebody, he looks like he's pushing the alarm clock there. We got some player pieces around the board. So it's a pretty nice action scene, looks like, we got here. And then it says here, the alarm clock game that's set for fun. In the middle of the night, you're in bed. You're starving. You'll have to creep through the house to the fridge, but can you do it without setting off daddy's alarm clock? So basically, I guess, um, the main goal is to get to the fridge, which is why the front picture is of some kids and a cat trying to get into the fridge. Okay. Um, and then it looks like we got uh, the game board, a spinner, deck of cards, mover bases, daddy in bed with hat and... Uh, consumer applied labels so basically you have to apply the labels which I imagine are the books those things right there um, no batteries required no reading required so hmm. no reading required I just read that to know that so this is what a vintage board game would look like this is 2001 when this game was released. We got the standard way they used to release everything was with this tape. Tape on everything. Got the alarm clock mechanism there. Set that aside. Then we got this one. Getting the tape off the worst part, always. And then this is the bed part. The actual, here's the interface that goes interlocks with the alarm clock. And then let's check what else we got. We got some spinner pieces, it looks like, for the spinner module. And then we got. And this is Daddy right here, who comes with his hat on. And there's a little felt hat, almost like a little elf. And then there's Daddy with his little hat on. So, um, of course, it's been in the box for almost 20 years, so it's the hat's a bit squished. Uh, doesn't doesn't fit as uh, erect and. Uh, you know, formed as it probably did when it came from the factory, but it's, a uh, you know, it's on his head, so. And I imagine it's meant to fly off, so I'm sure it's not supposed to be, like, a perfect fit or anything. And then we got, over here, we got the Don't Wink Daddy cards, which is in, um, the kind of plastic you would have on a, a bag of cereal in, basically. And then we got little move cards, Don't Wink Daddy, little move cards, so those aside. Imagine you just literally draw um, for whose turn it is. And then we got the Don't Like Daddy spin board, which will... Let's put that together right now. So these are 
the kind you just pop out. I just kind of twisted those around. Just, I'll show you. Um, right on the back of that. Basically, you can see none of the little nubs. And then we're going to get rid of all these little pieces. Hmm. All right. So now we have our base for the spinner, which will slide through the spinner board. It's a little bit of a snug fit. There we go. And it fits in there rather snug, actually. And then we have the arrow, which I imagine goes this way. And... Hmm. It's a little tight. It's really tight. And I believe this is put on the right way. It spins. Um, you can pop it off. I wonder if the clearance on this is. Here, let's pop it out of the. Just get that out of the equation. So. Maybe. So it's not really spinning that well. Um, this spinner actually has the dates on it, 92 and 97. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it this way. Just to kind of get the, the cardboard loosened up. Of course, no reading required, but there's instructions with reading right there. So... All right, let's try it now that we've loosened her up a bit. Hmm. Still nothing on that. I mean, it's not really spinning like it should. Let's see if it spins without the cardboard. Okay, it's got it's got spin movement to it. But I believe the cardboard might be just too thick. I'm not really sure. As to why it won't spin. I mean, I guess we just keep loosening it up until. All right, let's try that. Which, we shouldn't have to do that at all. Because this game... I mean... It's getting better, but... Whew, there's a lot of drag on there. And literally, let's see what it shows for the instructions. Doesn't... Spinner. Carefully break the arrow and fastener off the runner. Hold the spinner card face up. Push the arrow post down through the hole in the center from underneath. Snap the fastener onto the arrow. So that basically exactly what I just did, only minus the excessive working in and out to get it to finally slide. Let's pull out the game board here. So we got the game board, which is set up right here, where um, you can see all the start right there. There's a dog, a bicycle. We'll check that out in a second. So, we got four character bases right here. Only connected by one end. And then we have the decals here, which we'll, we'll put on the bed. So, let's check it out. Now that we got the box emptied and it did say no reading required no batteries required so but yet we do have instructions to read so now the game board does uh, start off with you got the four beds here and then you got roller skates I mean these are basically just um, traps I guess or things that could basically wake up daddy you got roller skates you got baseball baby crying you got TV you got a dog you got a tricycle with a horn on it, you got a broken vase, you got a cuckoo clock, you got waking the bird up. 
picture falling off the wall, you got a piano with a microphone, you got a fruit bowl, you got a scared cat, you got a cake dish on the floor, you got radio on, you got uh, pots and pans, and then you got finish, and then you got the fridge, which you finish right there at the fridge, which is pretty cool. And it's got all four colors because that's the four players you're playing with. So, And then you got the uh, spinner module, which works for garbage right there. And then you got the four player stands, which is going to have the four players, which we're going to pull from the card deck right here, which now you have all the players. So you have four boys and four girls to choose from. And then you have the player stands, which I guess we could we should stand them up, try them out. We'll choose two of each. Now it looks like the only variant that they really did was just change the hair color and the outfits to be more uniform. Um, so we got like two blues, two greens, and then what else we got here? We got uh, I guess these don't really match. I guess those aren't really all green, green and purple. Um, and these don't really match at all, honestly. So, hmm. anyway, there's the player player cards. The stands hold on pretty well. They stay on the, uh, the little player towels pretty well. Um, yeah, pretty cool picking them up. Doesn't really lift them up at all, so that's kind of neat. And then next we got the bed which has some decals that we're gonna put on here. We got, the first decal we got off the list is the sheet set. So there we go. We got a little bit of a, there we go. So, we got that on. Let's put the, foot, the footboard sticker on for the brand. There you go. Don't wake daddy. Then, looks like we got the sheets and pillow section, which we're going to line up right like that. There we go. Try to keep as many bubbles out as possible and then we got the alarm clock section which snaps in there but first off let's put the stickers on there so we got the alarm clock sticker which you clearly know goes right here on the alarm clock there we go doesn't have to be centered doesn't really matter we do do the bookshelf on the top and then we'll do the drawer with his crusty sock. So let's do there we go. So now we got that set up. It has a nice little it has a nice little skid pad down here to stop um, it from moving every time I guess that you you press down the alarm clock. So now we're gonna push in daddy. And I imagine that's the part that doesn't involve the battery. It's a cranker. So, and then we got, of course, the cards right here, which is great. And then I imagine you have to, it's basically like the crocodile dentist game where, um, you know, you basically just keep pushing down teeth. You're just kind of cranking them up. And you can see the hat twitching. Now I imagine these are probably how many times you have to press it. So. And there it is.
That is the spoof. And this shot probably did four foot across the room over here. Um, but it happened to hit the bookshelf. The, uh, I, th I think that this probably would have flew a little bit farther. So there is always that, but let's, uh, let's, let's count how many times it takes the to actually trigger this dude and let's put his hat back on. All right. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that one took eight. The one before that was definitely more than that. So, and this, yeah, this flew far, definitely far. It has, this has some distance for sure. And then you can see it actually did move since I've been cranking it, but I mean, I was cranking it in, in a row. And then you got the numbers down here, like four clicks, five clicks, three clicks. So like, for example, the, the broken vase, let's hit five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. And then uh, somebody, let's say, uh, mess with the cuckoo clock. One, two, three. And then uh, someone scares the cat over here. And that's five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the fourth player would go and let's say that they turned on the radio. So you got six cranks. One. So the fourth player basically would essentially have set off daddy if that's how the flow of events went. But um, pretty cool. Uh, definitely cool that it didn't need batteries at all. Um, this is the thing that probably sucks the most is this little contraption this could have e easy easier than probably a roll one dice maybe i would say um because <clears throat> i don't know I, I just feel like this this definitely could i mean i guess you couldn't do dice because you got two four or five you couldn't do a six-sided dice but um i don't know i just would have engineered this probably a little better um, or made them integrate a little easier unless like that's what you're trying to do, but I don't, I don't know if like flicking this is going to last the arrow long. So, but anyway, other than that, I think that was probably my only complaint. I do like the fact you get to put your own stickers on this guy. I do like the fact that it's, it's powered like that and not by batteries, which is awesome. Cause then you always have to worry about either getting batteries or having the batteries erode into there. Um, and you know, basically explode and erode into the plastic and everything. So Anyway, uh, I definitely think this is a pretty good board game, and uh, for anyone who is uh, interested in this, I definitely would recommend it for the age ranges that that this board game basically suggests. And uh, yeah, I do definitely think it's a nice short one. It reminds me a lot like Mouse Trap and probably The Grape Escape. I'd put it probably in the same category as that, which I also did reviews for those as well. Feel free to check out the playlist on this channel for all of our board game reviews that we do every single Wednesday. So give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Let us know below what did you think of the board game Don't Wake Daddy. Did you play this as a kid? If you did, let us know below and let me know how far did your hat fly when you were a kid and did it take you take you off guard? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe for more content and have a great rest of your evening.